rigor mortis. In any city, in any country, go into any hospital you can get into. When you enter, you will see the receptionist behind her desk. Do not approach her. Simply stand where you are. Then immediately fake your best seizure or any other serious medical condition you can do. The receptionist will see this, gasp, and then call for help. Several doctors will then put you on a stretcher and wheel you through many doors down a seemingly never-ending hallway. The lights will flash on and off and you will catch a quick glimpse of the doctors in their deceased forms. After what seems like an hour, you will become weary and lose all feeling and awareness of your limbs. You will be wheeled into a room and left there. It will look like a normal operating room with an operating table containing a scalpel, needles, syringes, and other medical paraphernalia. From there, fall asleep lying on your back, your head facing the roof. When you wake up, you will find a Siamese twin doctor, conjoined at the hip, standing beside your bed. You may try to sit up, but you will find that you are as stiff as a rock and your body from the neck down has been numbed. The right head will simply say, All right, he's awake, and begin to operate. The doctor closest to your bed will tear open your shirt and request items from the far doctor. He will hand him a scalpel and begin to cut a long line from the top of your chest to the beginning of your belly button. It's best you don't look, for you may pass out or simply go insane. You will feel no pain, but the knowledge of being cut open is enough of a burden. For an hour they will be operating on you, as the right doctor dissects you and the left doctor hands tools. At the very end, he will stitch you up and then leave covered in blood and other bodily fluids. To return to the real world, simply fall asleep again. When you wake up, you will feel a discomfort in your lower abdomen. If you look down, you will find a scalpel slightly piercing your stomach, making a vertically slanted flap of bloodied skin. Take the scalpel and bandage up your stomach using the bandage wrap beside you. After this, Make your way to the front of the desk, keeping the scalpel with you. When the receptionist asks if she can help you, stab her in the forehead with the scalpel. She will scream loudly in agony and collapse to the ground. Trudge around to the back of the desk and lean down to her body. Hold the scalpel to her neck and ask loudly and angrily, why were they dying? She will cough and sputter blood, then tell you a story of a mass killing. Everyone in the story that died, died painfully and without mercy. Many limbs were amputated from these people and were killed for the sheer joy of killing. The story will make you shudder in fear and want to leave this wretched place. After she has finished the story, her eyes will turn black and she will spit blood at your face. Jam the scalpel into her forehead again. As quickly as you did this, leave the hospital. They will hurt you, and they will kill you. The scalpel is object 109 of 538. As the second scalpel, you can now wield one in each hand as weapons to fight for your life. You'll know when it's time.